Do you know what a think tank is? I've heard of them. I'm not exactly sure what they do. A factory of ideas? They do a lot of talking. I see the term think tank in the news a lot, usually about politics. For think tanks, it's about public policy, and there is a difference. Politics is about who runs government. Public policy is about what government does. Here at the Mackinac Center, we fight for opportunity for everybody. And we believe the best way to do this is by using free markets and limited government so everyone can flourish. We focus on five areas of policy, fiscal, labor, education, and now criminal justice and environmental. We do this in three ways, research, educate, litigate. Research is at the core of what we do. We take an idea, we study it, we look at the data, and we try to draw good recommendations based on what we have researched. Without that kind of work, lawmakers wouldn't have a good basis for making decisions on public policy. The Mackinac Center has done numerous studies in its 30-year history, and this work has been a game changer in many of the reforms that we've seen to date. Like giving workers the choice of whether or not to pay a union simply to keep their job. Eliminating tax breaks and handouts to special interests like the filmmaking industry. We're giving parents more options in where they can send their child to school. One of the things we do, unlike the state rankings, is evaluate schools taking poverty into account. We believe that gives a more accurate measure of how a school performs, and the districts in those real challenging communities love it. I have to go to my teachers and say that the Mackinac Center says, hey, uh, Hamtramck High School is 120th best high school in the state of Michigan, even though MDE says our priority school is wonderful. Research is key to our mission, but at the Mackinac Center, we also think it's critical to educate the public. Throughout the year, we bring in policy experts to meet with lawmakers. The Mackinac Center also has its own news operation, Michigan Capital Comp Confidential. It's known as CapCon and reaches thousands of people every day. The idea behind CapCon is that there's concern about the mainstream media and bias. That is often expressed not in the stories they report, but the ones they don't report. CapCon is reporting the stories that if we don't do it, no one will. The Mackinac Center is the first organization that was at all interested in my story. Um, you know, I tried to get help in so many ways and no one cared to help me. And I started seeing the kind of stories that the Mackinac Center was covering, realizing that they were really concerned about individual people and what they were going through with government. And when government oversteps its bounds, that's where we come in. Here at the Mackinac Center, we have a legal foundation which provides free legal representation to individuals who feel like their liberty and the rule of law have been violated. Voluntary gifts from thousands of people who are committed to make Michigan a better and freer place to live make our work possible. We've been doing this for 30 years and we've got a lot of wins, but victories are never permanent. So our work is never done. And we are very glad to be in a place like Midland, Michigan, which gives us the firm footing to fight for freedom.